Yo, what's going on with you YouTube? Jumpy Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. And we just got back, you know, had a little uh, Labor Day weekend with the family. Went up to Ohio and uh, just spent some time. We did stop by this little, nice little bun meat shop. Hung out with the family all weekend. So, you know, just try to have some downtime and stuff. But still putting out videos though. But anyways, man, let's just say, what is everyone's um, shoe of the year. Can we say it on three? One, two, three. Most people is gonna say is the Air Jordan 3 Amenyes. Is that how you say it? I'm Amenyes. I'm Amenyes. I'm Amenyes. I do agree that this is the one of the top shoes of the year. Let's just think about it because it's a clean colorway. It's a clean shoe. Um, you know, the colorway, the way, how, mainly is the way how they release it because you guys already know 2021 and 2020 has been really, really tough to get shoes. And I feel like um, the Amanair 3s, Amanier 3s, I apologize if I keep butchering the name because I just don't know how to say it. I apologize. But yes, the Amanier 3s were like, it, they, it was a good release. Like as in like uh, it was very well bot protected. A lot of manual users were able to cook. They released it like three to four times, I want to say. And it was on the sneakers app, plenty of pairs. So a lot of people were saying that this is the shoe of the year. Maybe not to all, but there are some people out there or a lot of people out there actually, because you know, when I go to like a sneaker con and there's like panels, people always say Armanair 3s, shoe of the year, right? So I agree, it's a very, very nice shoe. I do, I dig it, I like it. I actually plan on actually wearing these at a sneaker event pretty soon, you know, cause gotta represent of one of the best shoes of this year. So, with the Amanir 3s coming out, you guys already know, you guys are already seeing pictures and rumors, what's gonna come out, and I wanna show you guys an unreleased shoe on the channel. And first of all, I just wanna say is, I wanna give a big, big shout out to my guy, I am Rico Suave. Uh, he's the one that was able to get this pair for me so I can get take a look at it. And he sent it over and I appreciate you, bro. So if this is your first time watching the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe because sometimes we do some unreleased, some early looks sometimes, you know. I just, whatever I can get my hands on. And this is something, a treat for us to, to look at. Boom! Wow, that is right. This is crazy. We're making history. I believe this might be one of the first one on youtube i did see some pictures on ig and yes this is the almanair ones first of all i just want to say is that these are cool these are nice you know it's pretty nice i compare a lot with the threes now all right i'm gonna do a lot of comparison now do i like the three or the ones better than the threes i'm more of an air jordan one fan i'll give you guys that but compared to each shoe, which one is more better? I gotta go with the threes, man. I gotta go with the threes. The ones, this material, I will get into that just in a minute. Now, there's no release date on these things. It's rumored to be pretty limited. I'm hearing rumors like it could be 10,000 pairs or something like that. It's gonna be a tough release on this one. Like, I know a lot of people were expecting, like, you know, it's gonna be released like the threes. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, look, every time when it's an Air Jordan 1, it's always some type of drama. I don't know when the release is. It could be later on this year. We still got ways to go. We got about a couple more months. They could release sometime during, like, you know, holiday season or early next year, possibly. Let me just say this. Look, I know how the, re the release of the 3s went, and a lot of people were very, very happy about it. I'm just saying, I wouldn't be surprised if we get, like, something like, hey, Amanir one, Amanir ones, raffle, online raffle. I'm just saying, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I hope not, but I wouldn't be surprised. I hope it'd be like very well bought protecting a lot of manual users could be able to cook. These things, let's talk about these things now. And I'll give you guys a quick little 360. We're gonna get into this early look. No on feet because this is not my pair. This is my man's uh, Rico Suave. Um, from the way I'm looking at, it might not be a women's shoe from the tag inside. I see in the, the, the label here, it says US, uh, eight. So this is a men's eight. So if th this is a women's shoe, a nine and a half in women's size. So just, just think of it like that. Now the material on these things, I, I know like, okay, let's compare it to like the threes here. Look at that nice soft suede here, that buttery nice soft suede compare on the threes. Now on the ones here, 
it's not like that you know it's not like and it's all throughout the entire shoe as well i'll just say that this whole like i want to say it's kind of like rough outer suede or something i don't know like this material it kind of looks like, it's like you know flaky almost um you know what this reminds me of the the actual material on these things are kind of like the tote fours but where that you know this part right here that's what it reminds me a lot of so I'll just put that side by side. So that's the material that it reminds me of on like the toe box here, that rough part here. It, that's what it reminds me on it's all upper of the shoe. Got a little, little bit of that reptilian, I wanna say crocodile or reptilian skin on the Nike swoosh here and even on the ankle uh, collar too as well. You got that, uh, look like hang tag here so usually on the women's shoe they have the hang tag see look it has the air Jordan one wing logo and even the almond air uh, logo on the back and this is like all leather decent hard leather i want to say i uh, got the wax laces as well with the middle tips inside the little ankle uh, i want to say on the heel collar here of course where it says air the wing logo air jordan there's a message message back here like how it was like on the rookie of the years and it said you have to expect things of yourself before you can do them i guess that's a signature of michael jordan so you know the almonaires the almonaires like just like on the threes there's always like a good message that they put on back of these things that quotes you know same thing like how it was on the back of the pull tab like here like this to have like a little you know um encouraging message for out there you know some good vibe take a look at the tongue here on the tongue it's the same material throughout on this like that rough i want to say sway but on the tag you can see it it says almonir tag and of course that nike air in the maroon color and then inside the insult let's see if i can pull it out yeah i don't want to mess it up the insole, as you guys see, got that Almond Air tag inside. It might be a little blurry. I'm sorry. I apologize. But it said, your airness by Almond Air for Air Jordan. And then, of course, inside the sock liner, I want to say it's like same material, like how it is on the threes, but it's a little bit more padding. Uh, got that little nice stitching. I guess I want to say quilted or vi like vinyl almost or nylon right there. You know, same material how it is on on the threes here as well so just remember that of course you do have the bottoms here uh the soles is like that nice creamy vintage vibe like how it is like on the threes a little vintage look and on the bottoms here got that maroon conic outsole of the air jordan one just an early look guys just an early look you know no on feet or you know completely full detail review even though i'm kind of giving you a detailed look at these things it does come with the extra set of laces so look at that so man let's just look at these things man my opinion like i said it's not as it's not better than the threes let's just say that I, i'm gonna put that energy out there it's not better than the threes i know um I think there's a, lot, a couple other bigger resellers have this on their IG page as well. I think they're just fine. They're, you know, it's cool. Of course, I'm, I hope they get a W whenever they come or whenever they release. But you guys already know how it's going to end up being. I think it's just, this is probably going to be a drama release, you know. Um, I know they did it so well with the threes. But, you know, I end up taking L's on the threes. I know a couple of people I know end up taking L's. Uh, of course, it was a women's shoe. So I was trying to get that big size. And it was a little bit harder to get. But still, end up taking the L, and I expect, you know, it's gonna be tough to get these things too as well, especially since the Air Jordan One. They they gave the Almond Air One or the Almond Air brand a freaking Air Jordan One. I mean, man, they must have did some really good numbers for them on the three. No set release date on these things just yet, but just stay tuned. Could be this year. Um, I'm, you're, we're just hearing rumors. I think all of a sudden they'll just come out with information, you know, I'm sure they'll have, you know, they're getting ready for like apparel and stuff like that. You know, uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't say merch, but you know, like sweatshirts, t-shirt to go with these things, uh, just like how they did with the threes. They'll probably do the exact same thing, but you know, I already know how it is with, you know, with COVID going on and a lot of these factories getting shut down. It might push, you know, um, the release date back. A lot of things been getting pushed back. They were supposed to release. Um, we just saw it like the Oreo fives, I believe is getting pushed back on Nike and same with like the, the family shoe, the patent leather, all bred ones. Those things are getting pushed back. So it would be kind of crazy that like if the family bred, uh, patent leather joints, uh, is coming out on the end of the year on December 30th and these coming out too as well like that would be kind of insane so I expect this shoe 
probably to hit 2022 probably i mean we'll see well you know you never know maybe it'll rush production date or they already plan these things to come out a little bit earlier so they might be ready to go but we just have to wait to see whatever nike decides to do but hey i just want to say uh big shouts to my guys to let me take a look at these things you guys let me know what you guys think about these omnir ones y'all like i said shouts to my guy uh, Rico for letting me take a look at these things and this is like a little unreleased treat man you know we don't really get a lot of these things you know I'm never really like the first youtuber to take a look at something like this so this is crazy uh, I appreciate you bro thank you so much but hey that's pretty much end of the review guys in the or early look I want to say early real early look we just got to wait and see whenever release happens and then we'll get more in involved of course just right now it's a lot of unknown on these things a lot of unknown don't know when the release date is how much stock i'm hearing it's very limited but we just have to wait and see but anyway guys appreciate y'all love y'all if you guys don't mind please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when i do drop vids and don't forget to follow me on all my social media at jumper chris on ig sometimes I'm on twitter and don't forget Snapchat. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jumpman Chris. Push. Pew.